Well, this morning in Genesis chapter 10, just like Genesis chapter 5, we encounter another genealogy, a list of names. But listen to how this chapter opens. Chapter 10, verse 1, it says, This is the account of the families of Shem, Ham, and Japheth, the three sons of Noah. Many children were born to them after the great flood. And then in verse 32, after all the names are mentioned, listen to what it says. These are the clans that descended from Noah's sons, arranged by nation according to their lines of descent. All the nations of the earth descended from these clans after the great flood. You know, we live in a world with great diversity, and oftentimes there can become kind of a dynamic of conflict or contention because people don't do things the way you would do them or act the way that you would act or think the way that you would think. There's great diversity, maybe within your family, your community, your church, most definitely our country and our world. But see, diversity isn't a weakness. It truly is a strength. And one of the great things to remember, like Genesis chapter 10 tells us today, is we are all brothers and sisters, meaning we actually all come from the same tree of ancestry. As the Bible says here in Genesis chapter 10, we all came from this family line. And as we're all from the same blood line, so to speak, we are also in the same boat spiritually. See, every single one of us is not born a child of God, but born a sinner. We're all that way. And we all need a savior. And throughout these genealogies in chapter 10, much like chapter five, they're pointing to and showing us that Jesus came through these lines so that he could be a Messiah, to truly take care of our greatest need in life. See, our greatest need in life is not to work out our diversity, but for our sin problem to be dealt with. And Jesus, that one who was born from that same line that you and I are, came as the perfect one, the one to die on a cross and rise again on the third day and conquer sin, death, and the grave on our behalf. So this morning, as you're reading Genesis chapter 10, be reminded that though there may be differences among us, we have more in common than you may think. And what we have most in common is this great need for a savior, and his name is Jesus.